Now let's talk about bringing content into your lesson. Let's say we're going to put some worksheets in our first math lesson. Skies provides several different ways to do this. Here's my uh, files, and if you feel comfortable dragging uh, files onto your desktop, that's one way you can do it. Skies also provides an import file button, which you can use to import all the major file types. Here's a math worksheet I'm going to import. When you're importing, be on the lookout for separate pages. You almost always want to choose separate pages if you want students to look at each page and be able to write on top of each page. You can also save Google Slides as PDFs and import them so that each slide will be its own card. If you want students to fill out this worksheet, you need to allow them to respond below and give them permission to annotate. There's the annotate and there's also the drawing. Annotation allows them to write on top of the page. Some students might also ask permission to be able to take a picture of their work. So you can give them a choice. However, for young kids, you may just want to give them one choice so that it opens directly into annotation. Once you've set the permissions, the next time you add a response, Skies will remember those permissions to try and save you time. As a teacher, if you want to demonstrate how to annotate a worksheet, you can add your card by pressing this plus button and choose annotate. Keep in mind the difference between annotation and picture. If you draw a picture, you just have a big white space. Let's cancel that. But if you choose annotation, then you can demonstrate to students how you'll fill out the worksheet. You can remind them not to draw the letters. And I can get rid of that either by erasing it or by going back in time. If you notice that there's this timeline at the top of the screen, I can actually click and go back in time. You can inform the students that they can use the T to type so they can type their answer. Skies will remember the size of the box and you can also change the color. There's also a black dot in the corner, which you can use to record yourself. Hello students, make sure that you use the T at the top of your screen so that you can type your numbers in instead of drawing them. Then your teacher card will appear below. This is because students get in the habit of looking below your lesson card to see their work, and if they're comparing their work with yours, they're referencing the teacher work below. In this case, I actually press the record button so the students can press the triangle. Hello students. And they'll be able to hear me talk and watch me write. As the students begin annotating, you will see a stack of cards and each one of their annotations. Sometimes you might have just part of a worksheet that you want to post. Skies gives you a shortcut. All you need to do is do a screen grab to your clipboard. For a Mac, that's Command Shift 4. Command Shift 4. Hold down Command Shift and press 4 and you'll get crosshairs. And the trick is to remember to hold down the control button while you are selecting the region. This will copy it to your clipboard. So if you do a screen grab and you've copied to your clipboard, then when you add a simple text card, Skies will allow you to press paste, command V or control V to paste the image. Let's look at an ELA example. Let's say I want to import this worksheet about the pyramids. If you're going to be writing on each page, you want to import as separate pages. However, in this case, I'm going to import it as a single document. This will allow students to click on the link and view the entire document. You can do this with any sort of web links. And then the students can go back to your Skies lesson and you could follow this up with an open-ended question. Remember, if you want students to post below, you have to press the respond below button. And by default, they can just type a lot of text. In this case, we're also gonna make use of the sentence starter. Usually this is blank unless you want to start the students off with some writing. 
In this case, I'm going to write a simple sentence and ask students to elaborate. On their screen, the area where they can respond already has words. When they respond, they can then elaborate on the sentence. If you want to insert a web page, all you need to do is copy the link and just paste it into a text card. Skies will know that you're trying to link the card and automatically turn it into a link with a thumbnail. You can also go back and edit the thumbnail if you like. You often want to put images in your cards and Skies has Safe Search built in. You'll get pages of images. Sometimes you might want to add a GIF image, and Skies has an easy way to do that. For example, say I want to give this student some feedback. I'm going to add an image in that piece of feedback, but I'll search great job elementary because this is for elementary class, and I'm going to add the special keyword go skies. Whenever you add the word go skies, all of the images will be GIF images. Let's choose the first one here. And you can see this has that animation feature. If you don't like the one, you can go and choose a different one just by clicking Show Results and choosing a different image. These can often be helpful in science. Here I'm choosing one about continental drift. You can also add YouTube videos. And if you don't like the thumbnail that it picks, you can always change it. Finally, I'm going to quickly show you how I could make a couple of lessons using core knowledge. Let's make a second lesson. And I'm going to use the core content button to import some core knowledge lessons into my lesson two. Many of these lessons have read alouds. The teacher instructions are at the beginning and the cards will read to the students. There was once a young shepherd boy who tended his sheep at the... Remember, you can turn off cards that you haven't gotten to yet and you could insert questions about the story to check for understanding. Let's also do one math lesson. The core content button also gives you access to Engage New York or Eureka Math. Let's start with a fifth grade lesson on place value. Here's the teacher guide, which we can hide. And here's the worksheets, which we can allow students to write on top of by simply clicking this one button. Or if we want to give them the choice of writing on top or taking a picture, you can choose both. Skies will remember your last setting so you don't have to keep pressing those buttons. And you can always decide to turn some of the cards off and save them for later.